Happy Thanksgiving freeze dryers. Today I want to share with you a very festive cranberry related dish. Uh, great for Thanksgiving. It's super easy to put together. Really only three ingredients. I have never freeze dried this though, which is going to cause a small dilemma. This recipe uses cranberries, which are very sour and usually to offset that sourness, you need to add some sweetness. So we're going to try this a few different ways until we can uh, balance out that sweetness without having something explode in the freeze dryer. And because this is a cranberry salad, this makes a great dip. Also, it's a great thing to dip chips into. Uh, it's a great appetizer. It can also be used for dessert, but let's get started on this cranberry salad. And because I've never freeze dried this before, we might have to make some alterations to this along the way, but I'm gonna start with 12 ounces of raw cranberries. These are just gonna go right into the food processor. And you're actually gonna need a food processor all the way through this whole recipe. We're gonna blend these. You want these to be uh, pretty minced. And then we're gonna add this to a bowl that we can mix in. This is the consistency of the cranberries that you want. Then we're gonna cut up one apple and because we're trying to not put sugar in this eventually, if you can use a sweeter variety of apple, that would be the best. Uh, once you have that apple cut up, we're gonna go into the food process and we're gonna do the same thing with that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with an orange. So now we have 12 ounces of cranberry, we have one apple, and one orange, and this first way that I'm gonna try and make this is the way that we make it for Thanksgiving, which is just adding a cup of sugar to this mixture, and one cup of sugar is a lot of sugar. If you've been freeze drying for a while and you've ever done sugar in the freeze dryer, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, sometimes it will more or less explode in the freeze dryer. Sometimes it's, it's totally fine when it's mixed into a mixture like this. This is quite a bit in a small little area, but I wanna test this out so you don't have to and you don't have to have a mess in your freeze dryer. If you've never seen what happens to sugar in a freeze dryer that explodes, uh, today might be the day that you get to see that. That's also why I wanna try this three other ways and that way we have a, a good way of actually doing this. And it gives you a few different options on how you wanna do it. If you wanna rehydrate it later, you can. Um, if you just wanna eat it as a bite, you can do that too. So that actually might just do the trick on one small tray. I have parchment paper down because this is sticky, pre-cut parchment paper from freeze drying supplies. I'm actually gonna spread this a little thin just so it has some room to uh, expand and hopefully not explode. And then I think I'm gonna put our dividers in and that way that'll give us some bites if this turns out the way I want it to turn out. Let's try an alternative sweetener next. I'm gonna try some stevia. All the ingredients on this second tray will be identical to the first, other than instead of one cup of sugar, we're gonna do one cup of stevia. I know stevia freeze dries very well. The problem with stevia, especially if you get a lot of it, it starts making kind of an off taste. Some people don't like the taste of stevia, and if you get a whole bunch of it to put into a recipe, then it really tastes like stevia and it really just doesn't, it doesn't really do a good job replacing sugar. So it'll be interesting to see what this tastes like as a replacement for the sugar. And I snuck a little taste test. It definitely has a lot of stevia flavor, uh, maybe a little overpowering. That might change after it's freeze dried. The third tray, we're not gonna do any sweetener. We're gonna try uh, an additional orange instead and see if we can get that uh, cranberry sourness to get overpowered by the sweetness of an orange. I am using navel oranges today. Make sure the oranges that you're using in your recipe are the sweetest that you can possibly get because the cranberries are definitely sour and it's hard to overpower that sourness without adding a whole lot of sugar. All right, let's move on to tray number three. Here's our third tray. Hopefully we can get this to overpower some of that cranberry tartness. And I think this calls for a taste test. And even if this doesn't overpower the sourness and the tartness of the cranberries, it will be interesting to see what, what it tastes like after it's freeze dried because a lot of times things, uh, some things will become more salty, more sweet uh, after things are freeze dried. Well, the two oranges definitely help, but it still is a little bit tart. 
I think if you added just a little bit of sweetener, maybe just a little sugar or a little stevia uh, on top of the second orange in there, then I think that would be a good alternative to a full cup of sweetener. Our fourth tray, we're gonna actually rehydrate, so we're not gonna put any sweetener in. We're gonna do the basic recipe with no sweetener, then we're gonna rehydrate it with sweetener and see how that turns out. All right, we've got four trays, four different ways of cranberry salad. We're gonna get these frozen really well in the freezer. I like to get liquids and I like to get uh, stuff that's like this all the way frozen solid. It's just gonna make it freeze dry a lot better, especially stuff that's high sugar. And then tomorrow we'll get to into the freeze dryer and get this going. All right, we're all divided because of the dividers. These have all frozen into little portions now. Make sure you pick up the, uh, the newest version of the freeze drying cookbook. We have volume two out right now and we have the revamped version of volume one. These are now spiral bound and they're also laminated. You can pick those up at freeze drying supplies as well as anything that you see uh, for accessories in this video and other videos. And we are using Harvest Right freeze dryers today. We've been using Harvest Rights for about six years now. If you're looking to buy a freeze dryer, you wanna see pricing and specs, you can, uh, you can visit Harvest Right's website. If you purchase, or if you just wanna visit the site, please consider using our affiliate link, and that helps support our little YouTube channel we have here. And speaking of our channel, our channel is Live Life Simple. If you have not subscribed already, please consider doing so. We do mostly freeze drying on this channel. You can also click the bell to get notifications whenever we release a video. If you like the content we're putting out there, let us know, give us a big old thumbs up. If you'd like to know more about freeze drying, consider joining our freeze drying groups. We have a Facebook group and a MeWe group. You can also use the search function in those groups to answer specific questions and uh, keywords and threads. That is just an invaluable resource for freeze drying. We are gonna get this Thanksgiving cranberry salad freeze dried, and I'll see you in a second. 31 and a half hours on the cranberry salad. I'm hoping this all stays together in a bite size form. And great news, this is the sugar one, and it had no bubbling at all. Just a little tiny bit in the corner, but it looks like it all stayed together without exploding. That's awesome. That's exactly what we were going for. Actually, none of them bubbled up, which is really good. And if all goes well, we can get these dividers out nice and clean, and we can have some cranberry bites. So some of them worked better than others. Uh, the parchment definitely kept everything from sticking. And once you get the parchment off, they actually pop out really nice. Uh, and they keep their square shape like that. And then once you get the dividers out, they'll actually just pop out in sections because the dividers made a nice place, a uh, good place for them to break a clean break. So far, uh, sugar ones look like they are probably the best for the bites. And actually the non-sugar ones actually stayed together. I didn't know if they would. These are the stevia. These are actually keeping their shape really well um, also. Let's do a taste test now. So the sugar ones, uh, to me, turned out the best if you're gonna do bites. And the sugar ones are actually really well balanced. Good balance of the sour and the sweet of the sugar. Let's try the stevia ones next. These also stuck together really well. It seems like the stevia and the, uh, the sugar are a good binding agent. I like these a lot better now that they're freeze dried um, as opposed to when before they were freeze dried, it had a very over stevia kind of taste. It's not quite as bad now. Sugar definitely tastes better, but if you're serving these to people that have sugar problems, uh, this is a good alternative. Next, we'll do the substituted orange for sugar. These don't stick together quite as well as the stevia and sugar, but they still actually are really good um, if you're transporting them in a bag or something like that. The freeze drying brought out a lot more of the orange. It's definitely not as sweet. There's more tartness from the cranberries that's noticeable, but if you wanted a healthy version of this, this would definitely be the one that you would want. The last one, uh, I'm gonna actually rehydrate with some sugary water and uh, see if we can bring this back to the way it was, uh, the way you would wanna serve it. So we'll just pull the dividers out and we will put this entire batch in here. This stuff disappears in our household really fast. Uh, we really like this stuff. So if we add a cup of sugar and some water, we should be able to bring this right back to where it was when we put it in the freeze dryer. Except for now it will be sweetened. I added a cup and a half of water and one cup of sugar. Just kept stirring this for two to three minutes and it actually looks like it's perfect. Let's give it a taste test and make sure. It 
it's absolutely perfect. It's exactly the same way as it was when we put it in here. Cranberry just seems like it's just a, a, a neglected fruit, except for Thanksgiving. This could be had any time. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Make some cranberry salad. Remember to live life simple, and we'll catch you next week.